homeless people. You obviously have YouTube uh, access or something like that. Um, the reason why I bring up this whole homeless thing, um, I don't be topical and even say this whole Ted Williams guy, the man with the golden voice, is just ridiculous. I have a friend of mine um, who I dated probably when I first was really starting to date people in the first place. Um, and, uh, she, you know, great sex, she's a little goth girl, that kind of thing, right? But, um,. Since time has gone on, she is uh, now has uh, hepatitis C, and she's homeless. And what's fascinating and sad is that this very beautiful girl is now very much looks like a boy. Um, in a lot of her photos that she posts on Facebook, and shows her in dumpster diving and uh, li you know living in uh, squalor and underneath bridges and and with other homeless people and stuff like that. Which is strange because I never thought her to be someone that had uh, lost her mental faculty, but apparently she has, because much like this Ted Williams guy, a lot of people seem a little surprised that, you know, he's an alcoholic or he's falling off the wagon or that he's a big problem, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, he was the, he was the golden story he was that you know like oh you know this is like oh this poor homeless guy he's got a brilliant talent we need to we need to save him so we can feel good about ourselves and we everybody did it everyone wanted to give this guy a fighting chance and uh he ended up falling apart and a lot of people were surprised and like oh no ted williams what happened it's just like the reason why he's homeless in the first place is because there's something wrong with him you don't end up homeless by choice is because there's something wrong mentally or addictions or whatever and I guess that's what happened to my friend because apparently she was doing a lot of needles and I didn't know that and that's how she ended up getting hep C which is pretty sad but here's a question how do homeless people afford to have internet access and afford to be able to take pictures and pay for tattoos have you seen the amount of tattoo works on people? Like this, right here, goes from here, goes all the way up here, cost me at least uh, $800 or $1,000 by now. And you see guys, they have such, they have artwork up and down the sleeves and stuff like that. I know what some people are thinking, that oh, they're getting it done in back alleys, back alleys and stuff like that, but you, ain't, you don't have the access to Indian ink and all that kind of stuff that you would need to have a good tattoo. I mean, they don't look like prison tattoos. Some of them actually look really well done. So, how are they able to afford that and f go on Facebook or any other kind of sites, and even YouTube? I guarantee there's a homeless person who would probably be watching this right now. And it's like, if you, you have to think, if you have the money for that, then you really don't have that big of a problem. You're just probably a bit of a fuck, pretty fucked up on your own. So, that's my rant for today. Um, as far as my life goes... Um, today is, uh, basically do fuck all. I'm not planning on talking to anybody. I saw my friend last night, which was nice. Um, I guess that's gonna tie me over. I uh, just basically sitting down, playing video games and surfing the net. Uh, still trying the online dating thing and still no responses at all. Which is very defeating in a way, but, I mean, val Valentine's Day is coming up, so I imagine there's gonna be something that's gonna happen. Regardless, I know what I'm doing on Valentine's Day anyways, and I'm gonna probably one feel bad for the fact that I don't have anybody. I don't care if it's a made-up Hallmark holiday or not. If you don't like the fact that you're alone. You want that. You want someone there. So, but I'll be playing Black Ops the new map because it's gonna fucking kick ass, and uh, it'll definitely keep me entertained for quite a while. So, that's my plan at least, anyways. Um, it's getting near the end of January. I've, I've paid off a lot of my bills. I want to pick up a laptop. So at least that way I can start getting out more. Um, you know, maybe start going to some of the places within Toronto. And, uh, go to some, uh, bars and, not bars, you know, like lounges and ritzy coffee shops and shit like that. And, you know, maybe be able to expose myself to other people that way. Um, not literally expose myself because I'm not... <laughs> I don't need to show it, um, my cock to anybody right now, thanks. Not that there's something wrong with it, but just saying. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, you're not really alone if you have your notebook with you. I mean, yeah, you may look like a Starbucks douchebag, but, you know, at least you're interacting with something. I cannot go to the bar by myself, and I will not go to the coffee shop by myself. I won't go to the movies by myself. And some people who can do it, good for you, but I just feel like a loser if I did. So maybe sitting in my place by myself, doing nothing, may be pretty loserish too, but at least no one has to see it. Well, except for you guys. And me. Because I watch these back. Anyways, that's it for now.